Let's take a look at Groove Agent 4's Percussion Agent. Groove Agent 4 comes with three different agents, an acoustic agent, a beat agent, and a percussion agent. The percussion agent can really bring tracks to life, adding a lot of movement and momentum. Let's take a quick look at some of the features of the percussion agent. There are four different agent slots that any of the agents can be loaded into. So we can add percussion with an acoustic agent and two beat agent kits. Uh, when we look at the interface, these will respond to different MIDI channels. So MIDI channel one, two, three, and four. Clicking this key here will allow you to open up a virtual keyboard so you can trigger different samples. And when we look at the samples, we can see that we have just about every percussion instrument that you would ever want in your production here. So we have different congas, wind chimes, cowbells, triangles, maracas, timbales, hand claps, cowbells, can't go wrong with that. Uh, all these instruments combined right here. Now, we have these working across our 16 pads. So we see 16 pads, but we can have eight banks of 16 pads. So for all the different samples, we're using six of the banks here. So if we wanted to just be able to trigger the sounds here or to trigger the sounds directly right on the interface itself, very easy to kind of figure out exactly what you want to do. These are the notes here can be changed as well. So if you wanted to remap the MIDI note assignments, you can click here. And then as you do that, you can now right click on the pad and you could say, let's learn the trigger MIDI note, or you can assign the trigger note to a particular pitch. So if you wanted to even augment or layer different percussion elements, it's really super easy to do. When we look at our main interface here, we can see that we have a number of different options. So anytime that you select an option, you'll get the adjustable parameters here for the selected object. So if I wanted to go to my conga sound, not only can I adjust how much is being fed into the room, uh, the, the tuning, as well as the attack, hold, decay. If I select the wind chimes, the high congas, the timbales, the hand claps, we can get all these different settings. We don't just have like one low conga sound, so we could actually have, you know, five different choices. So if I come here and I want to adjust the tuning, we could do that. And if I have a different sample for that type of conga performance, so it's not just one particular sound that's going to make up that element. Each of the percussion elements were sampled in 16-bit and 24-bit, so you can toggle back and forth between the two different uh, bit depths if you need to have more resources for your computer to fit in the project. There's also a pattern layer, so we can toggle back and forth between the instrument layer for the pads and the pattern layer for the pads. And as we do this, if we're overlapping on our pattern notes and our instrument notes, we can come to the bottom left-hand corner here and assign the patterns to be on a separate independent MIDI port B. As we kind of play a pattern, we could just kind of start off here. We'll hit play. And we'll go to our instrument so we can look at the interface. And we're also going to have the MIDI effects section. So if I wanted to select a particular sound and add flams or even delays that could be pitched and musically timed. So we're going to have different MIDI effects. But I can edit and tweak each of the sounds just by clicking on it here. So tuning, uh, the attack, hold, decay. But when I go to my mixer, I can select each element here. And we have different banks so we can go through all the different percussion elements here. And for every single track, we have four auxiliary sends, plus the ability of having four bands of parametric EQ, compression, tape saturation, as well as envelope shaper. So if I wanted to go here to this sound, to the cowbell, I can select the cowbell and say, I just want the envelope shaper. And on my 
this out, I just wanted tape saturation. And for the wood block, I wanted to have my compressor turned on. So every element can have completely independent processing, like a whole channel strip built right in. So you have incredible amount of control. If we go to our mixer here, we could have a master mixer, and this would be all of our agents going through these four plugins. We could have four independent plugins for particular kits so that my, my percussion agent could have independent four master effects for that, four effects for this. Plus, we could have our aux send. So if I wanted to come over here and add a convolution reverb with the reverence, uh, we can now just go directly here to the agent mixer and say, okay, I want to add that reverence directly to this particular channel. So this way we have four aux ends. You can solo, mute, and have everything completely automatable. And again, if you wanted to tweak something with a, a controller, it, all their parameters will just right-click, and you could learn and respond to the different continuous controllers. The beauty of this is how we can kind of build up different patterns. So we can hit our E key and switch between our pattern layer and our instrument layer. So now I'm going to go and click on the edit and we'll go to the agent pattern. If I have a particular pattern and I'm playing this, let's say I wanted to kind of build up. I'll just kind of mute all my different sources here. So we'll start off with just a bongo and I could select any of my percussion instruments here. So we'll say bongo. And what we have is different levels of complexity. So we have five levels of complexity. So if I want something a little more simple or more complex, and let's say I want the intensity or kind of the volume, different accents, and of two, I could choose this to be double time or half time. And I could also randomize the complexity. So now if I want to bring in different components, I want to be two times. And I could also have independent swings for each of these or a global swing. And if I go to a different pattern, I can just click this. And the beauty of this is I could actually now just sequence these particular patterns. So these respond to MIDI notes. So when I want to come here, just stop and then let's say I want to start recording. And I just hit my MIDI controller. And now at that point you could just have your sequence of all of your different parts and you could edit that, quantize it. If we wanted to actually edit the different notes, we could just drag the pattern over onto our timeline. So if I really like that particular pattern, I say, okay, let's just grab this pattern. And if I wanted to actually edit this in the MIDI drum editor, I could of course just come here and say, create drum map from the instrument. And once I do that, I double click and then I could be directly inside of the Cubase drum editor. And then as I see that, all the names of the different percussion instruments that were used in that track will automatically appear. We could edit it directly within the actual plugin itself. So now if I wanted to come here, we could say, let's turn this into MIDI and then click on pattern and then you can edit each of the different patterns directly here so do this now we're able to edit all of the patterns right from within the editor 
of Groove Agent 4. There's also a number of multi presets. So if I wanted to come here, we could just load up different multi presets. So I could say, let's just try um, this preset. So these are preset done combinations of like, you know, different kits. So we're going to have an acoustic kit here with percussion. As I hit play, it's going to trigger both patterns. So I can have my studio kit and my percussion. And if I change the tempo, when I trigger the pattern here, it's going to trigger the same pattern layer on both devices. So let's say I want to add, incorporate more percussion for this pattern. And let's say we will load a different percussion. So we just load up presets that are optimized to work together. So now that we do this, now let's say if I wanted to add in a different pattern, let's say something from, uh, beat agent and let's load in a different kit maybe so now as I switch patterns all of the different agents will switch patterns. So if I go to my pattern overview, I could actually kind of just mix and match my different patterns. So let's say my first pattern, I want just the acoustic drums. Then the acoustic drums and a percussion agent. And now with this pattern, we'll bring in this beat agent. So this way you could also say, I want to take this pattern and just move it there. So you could change the order of the patterns. And again, now that we go to our mixer, I, if I select my kit mixer, I can blend all of the different components together. I have my four global effects for all four agents, my kit mixer. So I could have four independent effects for each of the agents, plus four dedicated aux sends. So as you can see, you know, just working with the percussion agent, you can get a tremendous amount of flexibility and really bring tracks to life. And again, all of these working together make Groove Agent a very compelling package for coming up with drum and percussion parts.